How are movies made? It's a pretty simple question to ask with an extremely complicated answer if you want all the little details. I'm not going to bore you with those, so I'm going to try to make it simple and somewhat quick. It all starts with a script. What country are you from? What? what? What ain't no country I ever heard of? Scripts or screenplays are the blueprint of any movie. They're needed if you want to make a good film, otherwise your crew and cast is going to lack almost all direction. Luckily for the writers, screenplays follow a similar format. Scene headings, these show where uh, your characters are, what time of day it is, and this basically helps any location scout find what you're looking for to, in order to bring your scene to life. You also have actions. This is basically just what's happening, uh, whether it's a character motion, a description of a character, what the character is about to do, and some writers even get a little bit fancy with it and start to explain maybe what the characters are thinking. This helps the actors get in the mindset of the character and understand where their characters are coming from. You also have the character line. This just shows who's talking. These are often followed up by dialogue or parentheticals. Dialogue just shows what the character is supposed to say. Sometimes actors will go off script, do a little bit improv. Sometimes scripts are written with improv in mind and they want the actors to explore their character. And transitions are used for editors uh, to know what's going on, when the scene cuts, when things are changing. That also works with the shot list. This helps cinematographers figure up where exactly they're going with their stuff where the camera is going to be angled, what kind of shot the writer has in mind for this scene. Pre-production is after you finally write that script. This is where you go to get your movie made, whether it's an individual person, the writer themselves, or a big company. These are the people that give you the money to fund your movie. This is also where your dreams can get crushed. If you have a great idea of a brutal horror movie, and maybe the production people don't like that, they can chop off those ratings. They might want you to change the script a little bit so your movie isn't completely graphic. They can change all sorts of different things about your script before you even start to make it. They might put in certain promotions and advertisements that you initially didn't want to put in your film and didn't really imagine being there. Contractor, no. I will not bow to any sponsor. But they give you the money, so you kind of have to listen to them if you want that movie to get made. Now that you've got your script made and your producer is ready to go, it's time for you to hire some crew and some actors. Crews typically either hired by you yourself, if you know somebody in the industry who you enjoy working with. A good example of this is Roger Deakins, the cinematographer working with the Coen brothers. Sometimes the production company can provide you crew as well. If they have a big team at hand, they might be able to help you out if you're new to the industry and you just happen to get a big break. Actors can be found by casting, or if you have a certain actor in mind during the writing of the script, sometimes you can get those people in there. Production can also sometimes have a little bit of control on this. If they like certain actors or they have deals with certain actors, sometimes the production will put actors in your movie that you didn't originally see, and this is just another example of production messing with your movie. Now that you've got your actors and crew, your script, your producer, all that precious money, it's time to film. Filming is the most tedious and stressful part of making a movie, and it's pretty obvious as why that is. Filming is often long days. They can be up to 14 hours, six days a week for months and months. There's many takes being made, meaning you're often there for hours watching the same scene get redone over and over again until the director is satisfied with the cut. And even then, it might keep on going. Filming is tedious and long and takes a lot of effort from both the actors and the crew. And after you're done filming a movie, it's the best feeling in the world because you don't have to do much. Now that your movie's filmed, it's time to start post-production. Another reason why movies take so long is because of this big ol' area. Now that you've got all those clips from your movie, all those cuts, 
editors got to go through them. If you have CG in your movie, you need CG artists, special effects artists, all these people working on the after product. Of course, if you're doing it by yourself, it's not that awful, but if you're doing a big scale Hollywood movie, it's going to take a lot of people. You also have to worry about what the producers think about the final product. Even after the movie is completed in editing, they get to come through and see if things are fit. Also, the MPAA, which is the ratings board for movies, decides what rating your movie will get before its release. And if your producer wants something PG-13 and the MPAA declares it as a rated R movie, you might have to cut some parts from your movie that you didn't want cut. Also, in this post-production area, you're going to need to deal with marketing and put out posters and trailers and all sorts of stuff like that all over the place, all over social media, in person, billboards, stuff like that, so people can go and see your movie. Produ producers might also control the distribution of the movie. Uh, this is where it's released, whether it's a Netflix original, a Hulu original, or released straight to theaters or straight to DVD. You also have to worry about that. But finally, after those long, tedious tasks, your movie's completed. You finally get to release it, then you get to see how the world reacts to it. And just hope that they like it.